brakes on. Clear prop! This phase in flight, our altitude is approximately 2,800 feet with an airspeed of about 110 knots. We are about 10 nautical miles to the west of Norman Manley, commencing the ILS approach for runway 1 2. For those who are good in geography, 10 nautical miles is uh, somewhere about over, somewhere over St. Catherine, uh, maybe Spanish Town, within the Spanish Town area. At this point, we are waiting for the aircraft to lock on to the signal at Norman Manley that will provide us with the lateral and vertical guidance. Here you will see the pilot pointing the at the instrument lock. to say Further. that the signal is active. And that is what will guide us to right the center line of the runway and um, will keep us lined up the all away. the way down to the runway. And we are inside of Salah so, now. Inside so, of Salah? We're inside a cyborg, sir. Cyborg, yeah. And start coming down. So I don't capture the needle yet. Needle coming in. Two thousand one hundred. I'm already on the glide slope. I'm keeping it coming down. On the glide slope. That's around soon enough. Going too far to get my approach flat in. Five voice here inside a sala on the island run away one. Two five four Sierra Tor one on eight that's the most success. Tower eighteen sixty five for five voice here, Sala. And manager November seven three five four Sierra is with you inside of Salon on the island run away one two and we plan to go miss again and come back around. November 
Take a look at the instrument the pilot pointed to earlier. This is what it looks like when you uh, are lined up service. with the runway Free and also landing. on the correct right, descent go profile up, up for the runway. The right when the camera up. goes back up, you'll get a glimpse of the Norman Man right, International right, Airport, which we're currently right, flying towards. That's as well as to the left, you'll see a glimpse of Kingston, mainly right. downtown Kingston, and to the right would be Port Royal. So at this right. point, we do not land. On the approach chart, which is a published chart that provides the pilot with the information as to how to conduct the approach, the instruction says to descend to a certain altitude. Once you get to that altitude, if you see the airport in a real life scenario, then you can land. But in a real life scenario where you can't see the airport at that altitude, you should abort the landing, go around, and if it comes to it, divert to another airport uh, where the weather or the visibility is much better. Uh, 